Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm, of course, your host, Edrudals Blitz, and in today's video, we are going to be having a bit of fun in the Tier 8 British Tech Tree Heavy Tank, the Carnarvon. Now, you might be thinking, isn't this just a worse version of the Carnarvon Action 10? It's got worse turret armor, its hull armor's worse. Why would I ever drive it when I have an Action 10? Well, there's a couple disadvantages the Action 10 has, and the main one is damage per minute. The Carnarvon, after its buff, is sitting at 3,000 damage per minute, making it the most DPM in Tier 8 for a heavy tank. Not only does it have the crazy DPM, but it's got pretty good pen at 226 on the standard, 258 on the premium, 10 degrees of gun depression, able to work any ridge line whatsoever, great dispersion, fantastic aiming time, and the Carnarvon's not slow. It goes 34 kilometers per hour, and with super speed boost, you're able to go another 5 kilometers per hour up to 39. So, yeah, Carnarvon, on paper, it looks pretty mid, and a lot of people never realize this tank was buffed, but in today's video, we're going to be, we're going to be seeing just what the Carnarvon can do. Sorry about having a bit of a stroke there, my words just... But uh, yeah, let's see if we can load into a battle and do some truly crazy damage. And here we are loading into the game. What do we have on the enemy team? Well, they got a VK-168, an IS-2, and a T-29. Ironically, I'm actually most scared of the T-29 out of all the heavies they have. Well, the IS-2, obviously, nobody's scared of, but you might think I'd be more worried about the VK-168, but usually people that drive the 168 aren't great at the game, I like to say. So, uh, we'll see what we can do. Speed! You can see here, with speed boost, the Carnarvon is not slow. It's got a great power-to-weight ratio, which means you can easily get into the front line. All I have to do is have a little bit of support from my teammates on the back, and we should have a pretty easy game here. Alright, let's push up to mid-hill, and there's the VK-168. Let's aim it on his hatch. Look at that. Easy tap right into his hatch. That was a pretty lucky shell, though, if I'm gonna be real. And we also just got tapped by a Borsig and another Tank Destroyer. Isn't that fun? Welcome to World of Tank Destroyers Blitz. Well, there's one shell into the Borsig and two shells, maybe? It looks like the Yag Panther 2 is aiming at me, and it went, wow, that's just so unlucky. The fact that it went through my, my mantlet there. Oh, wow. All right, well, not much I can say about bad luck. Uh, that's just sad. Either way, let's push off to the side. Maybe we can get some shells into the T-29. While we did take a lot of damage, we are not a one-shot, so it's not like we're we're terrible off here. We just kind of got unfortunate. So, here we go. We got the T-29. There's one shell into his tank. Here comes the second shell. That's already 400 hit points we've taken off, but don't worry. We're gonna, we're gonna tap you again. Now that's 600 hit points we've taken off, but, uh, well, let's just see if we can do, uh, I don't know, 800 hit points. Ooh, darn. Let's just, uh, maybe tap the IS-2. Now, I could die here, down to the fact that I really don't have support from my teammates, but yes, we got to bounce! Beautiful! I was able to angle my, uh, my plate, and because of that, now we're just perma-tracking this IS-2. Really don't feel like this guy's, uh, enjoying this all too much. There you go, finish off the T-29. And now we're going to continue shooting the IS-2. Well, maybe not there. Wiggle! Yes! We got to bounce again! I may have a dead driver, but that's not going to stop me from peppering you. All right, one more shot, and... Uh, oh, well, <laughs> guess it didn't matter there. But look at that! We're already up to 2,700 damage, and we're going to get a dub. As I said when the battle first started, this tank is insane. When the DPM is able to be used, you can just rip into everything. And that's just what we did in this battle. So there you go. First game, we were able to block a decent chunk. I mean, that IS-2 realistically should have just aimed for my, for my lower plate. When looking at where those shells went, the guy aimed, like, right at my mid plate for some reason. But there you go, 2,700 damage dealt, and we were able to block 1,880. Let's do one more battle, and let's see if we're going to keep up this goodness, or if it's going to fall short. The Carnarvon's one of those tanks where it's great until it's not great. There's a couple vehicles like that. The AMX 50B is one of them, specifically in comp. The 50B is a fantastic tank for comp, until it's not a fantastic tank. You push it, 
and then you push into like three T100LTs and you get absolutely farmed by HE shells. That's definitely the case for the Carnarvon. If you play too aggressive in this vehicle, the turret armor, as you saw, is not amazing, and its hull armor is also not amazing. Like, the upper plate is really strong, and you will get a lot of bounces on the upper plate. But, at the same time, the Carnarvon falls apart extremely quickly. Alright, well, we're gonna see how this works. Uh, let me just do this. Alright. Five, four, three, two, and... Attack! Speed boost! Go, 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 go! Uh, what do we have in the enemy team? Well, it looks like our team doesn't actually want to go heavy route for some reason, so we're gonna go, uh... A side, alright. Um, they got a Salma SM, they got a 54E2 Shark, and a VK16801P. They also have an ISU152 and a Hobri Type 2, which are extremely deadly tanks. And there's my FE301, um, doing things. I don't know what he's doing. Is he driving on the bridge? Why? Why? Why are you on my team? Alright, either way, let's see. Uh, we got the uh, Shark over here, and I was spotted. I'm guessing the Samwa is why I'm spotted. That would, er, yeah, yeah, I'm guessing it's the Samwa. I don't think the shark spotted me. Ooh, this is a weird situation. I mean, we got the Patton over here, and I, I really want to shoot the Samwa, because once this guy goes on a clip reload, he's got a long reload ahead of him. Okay, would you stop tracking me? As I said, the Carnarvon's armor is not great. Like, if you can get its weaknesses exposed, you're gonna, you're gonna have a fun time tearing it apart. Especially with an ISU taking off all of my health in one shell. How fun! Good news is that we still cleared that player, which is really all we needed to do. You know what, ISU, if you want to sit there and aim at me, we'll miss you. Uh, I think that missed. I, I really do. Get out of the way, AMX. Oh, no, you're going to lose 600 health. Oh, why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? Well, let's aim it on the ISU and, again, miss a pretty easy shell. We know the ISU is going to poke that, and we know exactly where the ISU is going to poke as well. So we can just kind of sit here, and uh, there's one blind shot, and let's do one more just for good, uh, good luck. All right, so what am I going to do? Because the ISU will butter through my entire turret with no problem whatsoever. So I'm going to be careful about that. They also got a Hori, who just absolutely bodied my uh, Amex, who didn't really use his brain cells there. I'm going to try and speed boost into cover, away from the ISU's fire. There you go. Okay, we got through. Speed boost was able to save me, but now our E50 is taking massive L's. Hmm. All right, well, I can't poke that. The turret on this tank is not strong enough to poke hull down against a Hori. It, it is not. So I can't really work that situation. My shark is oblivious. Okay, that's not great. Uh, I just, I can't poke that. I, I'm scared. I'm really, really scared about poking that. Now, the Hori's not looking at me right now, which means we can get to Penin. A very, very lame penetration at that, but at least we did something. And then we bounced. All right, well, let's try another shot. I mean, we're not going to win this battle, but it's definitely not our fault we're losing this game. So I'm just going to try and do as much damage as I possibly can uh, without being penned by this Hori. I'm just going to back up. Maybe we can get some shells into this Patton if he tries flanking us. Come on, Patton. Hello. Oh, there's a 168 who penned. Actually, he didn't pen me. I was expecting that to pen because, I mean, the 168's got pretty decent penetration. But, uh, yes, congratulations, team. You have thrown a battle. That's a non-pen. Let's try one more shell. Here we go. And boop. There you go. Nice tap into the Hori. Um, and now all we got is the Patton off to the side. Well, let's just uh, use our DPM on him and uh, see how much we can farm. I mean, this Hori is probably going to take a massive chunk off our rear. And uh, yeah, there, there goes our game. So the Carnarvon, it's a strong tank. I mean, teams still suck. It doesn't matter what tier you play at. Teams just suck in general. So it wouldn't have mattered if I played tier 10, tier 7. Your team's going to fall apart if they don't know what to do. And that's just the sad truth about Blitz nowadays. But hey, I was still able to deal 1,852 damage and finish second on the team next to the Emil 2. The Emil 2 didn't do bad for his stats, so I'll give him credit, but uh, yeah, their ISU is able to farm 3,000 damage off of our team, their Patton was able to do their job, and uh, yeah, uh, did we have another tier 9? Oh yeah, that's right, our E50, who was, oof, all right, well, I'm gonna stop looking at our team's win rates, because it's gonna make me depressed, either way, the Carnarvon's a fantastic take, and even though that battle was a loss, you could quite easily see that it did a good job. Its penetration was enough to even cut through the Hori uh, occasionally. You know, we didn't pen every shell, but it's good pen. The tank's mobile. It's got great DPM. It's kind of everything you'd want for a tier 8 heavy. Its real downside are its massive track wheels that don't absorb shells all too well. Well, they absorb shells well, but they also get penned at the same time. So, 
Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and if you'd like to see more like it and other tanks that maybe you haven't tried but you might want to, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye!